What's up? This is Jake with Hike 734, hiking with some of my friends over here. And um, today we did the guard wall trifecta, and uh, now we're kind of over here by this amazing waterfall. But before we get there, um, we started off on the Highline Trail at Logan Pass, and we just started working along this amazing inversion into the valley, which was super great. I don't think I've ever been up here when the whole valley was just shrouded in fog, but it was amazing, and we just kind of hustled along the Highline Trail and just put the great water wildflowers and just the water and whatnot. <laughs> Finally, we got to the creek bed right above Triple Arches and uh, we started working our way up. And as we kept going up, the, obviously the views kept getting better and better, but it's definitely a lot of work and it took us a little while to go ahead and uh, make it all happen. But uh, eventually we just kept working our way up to the saddle between Pollock and Pegan. And if you've seen my other uh, garden wall trifecta, this will be somewhat familiar. But one of the amazing things is once you finally get up to the garden wall, it's just like cliffs all the way down on the other side into the, um, just kind of the mini glacier area. Um, and so, yeah, from there we started working our way up to Bishop's Cap and um, the ridge walks when you're bagging peaks and glacier are freaking fantastic. And so this was definitely no exception and we've just had such amazing weather today. And um, yeah, so finally we worked our way up and got to kind of a couple of climby sections which are pretty exposed and a couple of the folks in our group aren't great with heights but they did amazing through those sections and finally we just got up to the top and the views from the summits are just ridiculous and we love them for days and we just had a really great time just hanging out there and then we got cold and we started working our way down and then went back to the saddle and just started working our way um, up to Pollock um, but before we did we got to see a couple of uh, mangy mountain goats and they're just hanging out. And we, had, we could smell them and we could see their stuff all the way um, up, but we got to see them. Anyway, so then we started working our way up to Pollock and um, got up to Pollock with its unique and equally amazing views. Um, looking down actually into uh, Logan Pass area and yeah, just down into Lunch Creek for the first time. And then just, yeah, awesome views, panoramas all around, peaks for as far as you can see. And then finally we started working our way down to the saddle between Pegan and Pollock. And at this point we were definitely tired, and but that, that didn't stop us because we had to get the trifecta. So then we started working our way up Pegan and then got just, yeah, up to there. And the cool thing about Pegan that makes it definitely unique amongst the three is that you get to look down on Pegan Glacier. So you're right on top of a glacier, so that's awesome. And then once again, just looking down onto like Pegan Pass and that area, and then over to Logan Pass. And then, uh, yeah, so then we started working our way down and then just kind of hacking our way down into the Lunch Creek area. And Lunch Creek is just such a beautiful spot um, with just these really, it's just a huge bowl with like wildflowers. And we got really blessed right now because we had like all of these mountain goats just lounging around and then a bunch of bighorn sheep and just marmots and everything. And then of course there's a couple of waterfalls, one of which is right behind me. And so anyways, now we're just kind of hanging out um, just for a second. So mainly so I can record this. And then we're gonna be heading down to our cars over at Lunch Creek and just calling it a day. But super fantastic day. If you are able to climb like this, you definitely should add this to your list. Check out my other one because I don't know, maybe I've said something different or given you a different view. But anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734 and a bunch of my friends. They're waiting for me, so we probably better get going.